so very good morning students so today we are going to perform our new experiment that is the rc oscillator using op amp okay so basically the rc is the resistor capacitor thing okay so it is also known as phase shift oscillator okay it produces a sine wave output signal using regenerative feedback okay so this regenerative feedback is from the resistor capacitor ladder network only okay so this uh, feedbacks come from this network due to the ability of the capacitor that is having the ability to store the charge okay so by varying the value of resistor and capacitor we use this thing okay so basically since we are going to use here uh, 3 r and c okay of the same value the r1 r2 and r3 would be of same value and c1 c2 and c3 would be of same value okay so basically uh, in this part the frequency the cut off frequency of this uh, oscillator is 1 by 2 pi rc root under 2n okay so n is basically the network ladder okay number of network ladder okay so the operation amplifier this rc oscillator consider consist of an amplifier here okay that is op amp so we are going to use it as an inverting mode okay so this rc led ladder you can see here so we are basically having two types of rc ladder here okay so this first one is called a uh, phase lead network and the second one is called phase lag network so why this is called phase lead network because uh, it is having the capacitor in series and the r are being ground okay all the resistors are being ground okay and here the resistors are in series and the capacitors are being ground that is they are connected to the potential zero okay so we will actually see in the um, multisim part that why these are called phase lead and phase lag network okay so basically what happens now one rc network gives a 60 degree phase difference okay so 60 degree phase difference here 60 degree here 60 degree here and if we want we could get a 180 degree again more inverting part when we are going to use this op amp as an inverting part okay suppose uh, this one at here the signal is uh, containing 0 degree so then here it will containing uh, it would be having a phase shift of 60 degree then here 120 degree then here 180 degree and since we are going to use op amp as an inverting part so it will again invert the signal to 180 degree okay so again this will get a 360 degree phase part okay so here uh, this one is as i have told already told phase lead and phase lag network we will see in the output that why this is called phase lead and phase lag network okay so basically we are going to use three stage rc shift oscillator only here so we are going to uh, make an oscillator of frequency 4 kilohertz okay so for 4 kilohertz when we are going to write here 4 kilohertz f of 4 kilohertz so we have to check that what should be the value of this r here okay so, since we can choose r and c anything here okay but since we are going to use a cut off frequency of 4 kilohertz only so we are we have chosen one part c 2.4 nanofarad so now we are going to choose that what is the r okay so basically if you will do the calculation you will get r as 6.8 kilo ohm okay so when we are getting 6.8 kilo ohm of this thing then in the operation amplifier as we already know that for sustaining the oscillation it should be around the value should be around 29 okay around 29 so the resistive value of the oscillator is 6.8 kilo ohm so uh, we will just uh, check that what is the gain here so rf since we have got r here the value so by the help of that thing we will find out this thing uh, gain here okay as we know that we have got the value of r around 6.8 kilo by the help of this uh, formula okay so we will take that what should be the feedback register here okay add in the op amp we have to connect a feedback register also here okay so we are going to check out the value of feedback register here by the formula of this thing av that is this this is gain so gain is equal to rf by r understood so by the help of this formula we have got that our uh, rf that is feedback resistor should be around 197.2 kilo okay so this one is for maintaining the oscillation okay so we have to maintain the oscillation that's why we have used such kind of values here okay you can change the values also here okay but remember the gain should be around 29 okay or it should be greater than that thing okay so uh, in this uh, rc oscillator we can uh, use two type of different circuit okay in one circuit we could give uh, the value of input signal 
okay or in the other part we can just use the value of r and c and we could just uh, create an oscillator okay we could which could maintain itself okay so in the multisim just see here i am going to provide you two different circuits so this is the first circuit and this one is the uh, second circuit okay so in the first circuit you could see here that i have provided an input signal okay so when i am providing a input signal here so just see here i have taken different different values of uh, this p and this r okay this p not this p dot sorry c okay so this is capacitor and this is resistor so you could see here the resistor are being ground and this capacitor are in series okay the same thing is here i am i've done here also okay so you can see here that when i am going to provide an in input signal here okay so we are going to take the output at all these part one is from this part the second the third and here the fourth one okay that is from the output of this thing so we are going to use here a, a feedback resistor of 10 kilo ohm and the calculation which i have done here okay i have used here for maintaining only the oscillation so for maintaining only the oscillation we are not going to provide any input signal here okay so this oscillation uh, sorry this oscillator will maintain itself okay so here you can see i haven't provided any uh, input signal here so here i have used 2.4 nanofarad of the capacitor and 6.8 kilo ohm of the resistor okay so in this part just see here i haven't connected uh, pin number 1 and pin number 5 of this op amp okay but here uh, when we are going to just uh, give an input signal here we have to short this pin 1 and pin 5 okay so why have i have done it you have to find it by yourself okay so just look here i will uh, just uh, run the oscillator here okay so when i have run the oscillator just see the output here so here is the output i will just stop the simulation and i will make sure that you should uh, look at very clearly so look at here this is the green part so green part is what it is the feedback only okay the feedback which i have uh, got from pin number 6 of this op amp and this thing i have connected as the input part okay for the regenerative signal okay so this green one is basically our we can use it as our uh, input signal also we can say that it is our input signal or we can say that it is regenerative feedback since this one is the first first signal which is starts to go in this rc ladder network so we can term it as the regenerative feedback or the basic input one okay and then just look here i have grounded the resistor okay and what i have uh, told in the this thing here in the theory part this this one is phase phase lead network okay so when this one is phase lead network so just see here when this is phase leading then all the output which we are getting uh, other than this part okay just see here these all are going to shift 60 degree in left part here okay so just look here the green one is the first part and here uh, this orange line okay this orange one is the output of this rc part so this rc part output this yellow uh, orange part this is shifted left hand side to 60 degree again i have used a sky blue color here as the output of this rc part so you can look at this thing this uh, blue color output okay it is shifted again 60 degree left hand side okay and then i have used a black color of output here so you can see here a black color of output is again shift, shifted 60 degree here okay so basically this from this what we have learned that uh, basically in the phase lead network all the uh, values of uh, these waveform are shifted 60 degree to the left okay every time we are going to see that 60 degree left hand side of shifting is there and every time we are seeing that uh, the voltage of uh, the wave is decreasing okay so remember every time the voltage of the waveform will decrease no matter either we are providing a uh, input signal here or we are just going to uh, make a oscillator which is maintaining itself okay every time the output will decrease okay every time the output gets through one rc ladder network okay so this one was our uh, first circuit diagram 
this one okay so in this part we have went use any input signal here as we have created a regenerative signal here okay and the oscillator is maintaining itself and here we are providing it a signal okay so i will run this circuit also and i will uh, let you know that how the circuit performs also so just look at this signal okay here also the r is grounded so since the r is grounded so again all the signal will be shifted uh 60 degree in left hand side part okay so uh this one is the first signal this one is a black color okay so this one is a so this line you can see this waveform waveform is of black color okay so first one is of black color the second one is of green color so you can see the green color is shifted 60 degree in left hand side part okay again i have used a red color of output in the third part so you can see again an output of red color here okay the voltage has been decreased significantly here okay and now the fourth one which is the output of op amp i have used here so you can see the output of uh, this uh, blue line okay so you can see the output of this blue line is slightly higher than that of red color so why is this happening this is happening because we have used the output of an op amp okay so basically uh, this one is currently in inverting uh, terminal part i mean to say that uh, the input is connected to the pin number 2 so this op amp will uh, act as an inverting amplifier here okay and this is amplifying the signal okay so this is our rf that is 10 kilo ohm and this one is our r1 okay 4.7 so basically it is amplifying the signal by the gain of 10 kilo ohm divided by 4.7 kilo ohm so it would be basically 2 point something okay so basically the uh, this uh, um, blue line or this wave blue waveform it is twice of this waveform okay so that's the reason the voltage here it is increasing okay and we are not going to see any significant uh, voltage lowering in this um, black and this green part as we have used a significant value of this r and c here okay so this will not go change uh, any uh, output to a very higher extent okay to the voltage to a very higher extent change okay so this one is the rc network okay which is used with an op amp to form our oscillator okay so in one part we have used a regenerative feedback only okay to so that uh, the rc ladder network and the op amp oscillator could maintain itself and the in the other part we have used an input signal also okay so both type of uh, these things can be provided here okay we can uh, perform both type of oscillator circuit here okay so i understood i hope uh, you have understood that uh, how to perform this experiment and i hope you have understood that what is this rc oscillator using an op amp circuit okay so thank you for watching this thing